I never thought a sphere suspended in mineral oil could be so exciting. Eight minutes and it hasn't moved. So far, so good. Oh boy, oh, my heart is pounding. I hope I don't turn into an adrenaline junkie. What's going on in there? This is a prototype of a solar neutrino detector. We need to keep the sphere suspended precisely in the scintillator. Speaking of scintillating. Nope. Sorry. Darn it. Oh, the oil must have dissolved the adhesive. Well, ready to hit the road? Please, not yet. We're so close to cracking this. Just 10 more minutes. Fine. Oh, yes. <laughs> Perhaps we could create some sort of a cocoon to suspend it. Out of wire? Or nylon. But I wouldn't know how to weave it around a sphere. I'm not a genius, but it sounds to me like what y'all are talking about is uh, crochet. I suppose we are. I mean, because with crochet, you can make all kinds of shapes. Intriguing. Hell, I even crocheted a cover for Jolene. I'm sorry? Oh, that's my bowling ball. She likes to name inanimate objects. It's odd. Oh, whimsically charming. Connie, would you help us detect solar neutrinos? Really? You, you, you want me to be a part of your science thing? Indeed. Well, sure, why not? <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> and just like that, my Meemaw had been seduced by the siren call of science. But before we unravel the secrets of the universe, I'm gonna hit the John. That night, my Meemaw was so inspired to be part of our science experiment, she began working on it as soon as she got home. She was in the zone. She was focused. She was determined. She was also 68 and had eaten a lot of pizza. And the Nobel Prize for Science goes to Connie Tucker. Goodness, y'all are so sweet. <laughs> I want to thank my brilliant grandson, Sheldon, and his pal, Dr. Linkletter, for bringing me in on the experiment. I'd like to thank my Aunt Linda for teaching me to crochet when I was knee-high to a June bug. <laughs> and everyone for making me the Meemaw of Science. <laughs> So what's with the box? The experiment needs to be in complete darkness to work. We watch these monitors for the results. OK, all that's left is to turn on the cameras. Sheldon, will you get the lights? Yes, sir. Is that to make it more dramatic? <laughs> it's so that we can better see the flashes on the monitor. But a little drama never hurts. <laughs> all right, here we go. Commencement of the solar neutrino detector prototype in three, two, one. I don't see anything. Give it a moment. Is that it? That's it. We did it. Phase one is a success. Congratulations. Wow. Look at that. Beautiful neutrinos. Those aren't neutrinos. What are you talking about? That's what we're looking for. That's just radioactivity. Well, then when do we find the neutrinos? We don't. This is just a prototype. You kidding me? The actual device needed would be the size of a building. And that's 20 to 30 years away. Well, I could be dead by then. You still may have helped advance science. Unless another team beats us to it. No. I'm gonna wait in the car. If it helps in 30 years, I should still be alive. Boy, you think she'd be happy about that. <laughs>